You don't need self-esteem. You need the knowledge of God. It's all about Him. Your heart beats for Him. You were given breath for Him. You were given strength for Him. You were given a mind for Him. You were given everything you were given for Him. And it is only by living for Him that you're ever going to find purpose or meaning. For Him. For Him. And even in that, you will not find purpose and meaning if your goal is to find purpose and meaning. You should believe in Jesus Christ. You should repent and you should serve Him even if He sends you to hell because He is worthy of repentance, He is worthy of faith, and He is worthy of service, though you get nothing from it. Do you understand that kind of Christianity? Where it's all about Him and not about men. For what reason does our heart beat? For what reason does our chest heave and draw in breath? There is only one reason. It is for Him. Men were not made for men. This world was not made for men. Men were made for God. And the Christian says, I was born in sin. In sin, my mother conceived me. I have broken every law of God. And I deserve the full extent of His just wrath against me. I am trusting in the virtue and the merit of another. Jesus Christ, my Lord. All to Him. Nothing in my hands I bring. Simply to the cross I claim. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died. That He died for me. A young man came to me one time and said, You're right, Brother Paul. You're right. Jesus is all we need. I said, young man, Jesus is all we have. Jesus is all we have. Jesus is all we have. He's not just all we need. Outside of him, there is nothing. You need to understand that that great book of Colossians not only teaches us that the world was created by Christ and for him, it was created in Christ. Everything outside of Jesus Christ is not reality. Everything outside of Jesus Christ is absolutely absurd. Everything outside of Jesus Christ is death. There is nothing. There's no reality. There's no logic. There's no sense. There's no reason. There's no rhyme. Nothing works. Everything was made to be in Christ. Your greatest problem is lashing yourself down to this truth. Total surrender to the person and will of Jesus Christ for the glory of Jesus Christ. That men might see what they are and in seeing what they truly are, having their hearts exposed, they will see their need of a Savior. But while you play with them and coddle them, and protect their so-called self-esteem, you at the same time damn their soul to hell. It seemed like every time I'd get up to preach in a meeting, some person would get up and sing a song that asked the question, Oh God, what did you see in me that you saved me? And I felt like a kid at school with his hand raised in the back. Oh, pick me, I'll tell you. What did, what did God see in you? He saw an object of wrath. He saw someone that had broken every law he'd ever made. And lived a dislocated, perverted life. That's what he saw. And why did he save you? Two reasons. God is love. Secondly, to demonstrate his glory, his mercy, his attributes to not only the world, but even beyond. You were given everything you were given for Him. And it is only by living for Him that you're ever going to find purpose or meaning.
for him, for him, for him, for him, for him, for him, for him. For him. For him.